In this problem, we're told a 6 kilogram monkey swings from one branch to another 1.3 meters higher. What is the change in gravitational potential energy? So in order to solve this problem, you need to know the formula for potential energy. And so essentially, potential energy is equal to mg times y. And so y is basically your change in height or your height, right? So in order to solve this problem, what we're going to want to do is we're trying to find uh, the change in gravitational potential energy. So I'm going to call that delta u, right? So the change in u, which is the potential energy. And so you can solve this by doing mg times y2 minus mg times y1. So essentially what y2 is, is if you imagine y1 is your initial height, and then y2 is your final height. Uh, final height. So this is what we're going to use to solve, right? So imagine, I'm going to draw what's going on here. So imagine this is our branch, right? And so we have this monkey, right? So here's our monkey. And so they're going to jump to a different branch that's 1.3 meters high or higher, right? So it's going to go 1.3 meters up, right? So if we imagine this is ground level, uh, its initial height, y, uh, which is y1, is zero. So we say y1 and y2, right? This is just their height at that time. So if we set this line to be zero, right? So it's, a potential, it's essentially at zero. So it's zero meters for y1, and then it's going to go up 1.3 meters. So its height here, right, on the second branch is going to be 1.3 meters, right? And so in order to solve this, we also need m and g. And so m and g are just the mass, right? So m is just the mass, and then which is uh, 6 kg, right? So they give us that, 6 kilograms. And then g is just the gravitation, or just the force due to gravity, right? So, or just acceleration, right? So 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's going to be g. And so what we can do is just simplify this a bit more. So delta u equals mg. And then I'm just factoring out an mg from both of these. So it's just y2 minus y1, right? Because this equation is just the same thing except for, right? Because we FOIL this out, it's just going to be this. So all we have to do now is just plug in, right? So the change in u, which is the change in the gravitational potential energy, is equal to the mass, which we know is 6 times uh, g, which is 9.8, and then y2 minus y1. So 1.3 minus 0, which is just 1.3, right? So 1.3. And so if we go ahead and do this, you do 6 times 9.8 and then multiply it by 1.3. You're going to get that it equals 76.44. And so you can round this however you want. I'm just going to round it to the whole number. So it's going to be about 76. And so we measure energy in joules. So it's going to be 76 joules, right? So the answer to this problem is going to be 76 joules. And so, yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.